was Masterpiece by Jasmine Sullivan. That is one of my absolute favorite songs. Jasmine Sullivan is an incredible artist. So I thought that was so appropriate to play because hopefully you guessed this from the video, tease it up, post it up. I'm going to be creating my own canvas art. So I'm so excited about it. This will be my first time doing it. So of course you know that this design is a part of my 35 for 35 designs where I am doing 35 designs to celebrate my 35th year of life. I'm about halfway through. I don't know the exact number. <laughs> but the next video, hopefully I can tell you all exactly where I am. Where I am. So please follow the hashtag 35 for 35 designs where you can see all of my previous designs that I've done and all the ones that I will continue to do in the future. And of course, this is all on my Instagram, which is crystal underscore interior design. So let's get straight into it. There's no history. I'm just going to be creating this uh, canvas. Like I said, I've never done this before. Um, so I wanted to start out really small because <laughs> just in case it doesn't turn out that well, it'll just be little and it won't, you know, be just ugly sitting in my house. But, um, so you all know I always like to try new things. So this is going to be something new that I've tried out. Um, and hopefully it's a really, it's really quick and easy to do. So, all right, let's get started. Let's just turn this turn the camera around. Okay. So, as you all can see, I've already put down my uh, paper uh, to do this. Um, I don't have, my home is... A small little home, so I don't have a lot of like space to do my craft, so I just have to do it on my regular table. So, if you are in that type of situation, just make sure that you cover it up uh, really well. So, like I said, this is just paper um, that I've had from when my painter was here. He used it to cover the floor when he painted um, my walls. So I had this left over. I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I used this and I taped it with some painter's tape. Hopefully, it will stay on the table because, of course, you want to protect everything. Okay. So you all know that I am all about doing crafting that is affordable. So everything pretty much from this uh, craft will be from the Dollar Store. Um, the thing I love, um, excuse me, the Dollar Tree, is that they have a crafter's corner where you can get all your little cute crafting things, wood pieces, stickers. And so that's where pretty much all of this came from. So I just got one of these. Um, it's a small, let me see what size this one was. This was a six by eight. Um, like I said, because this is my first time doing this. Well, that's not completely true. I did something a couple years ago, but that was more guided and this would just be, be kind of freestyling. <laughs> so um, this was, so this was a dollar. A little paint tray, uh, of course, a dollar. And I'm going to use two different paints. So this is acrylic paint. Now look, like I said, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing in terms of paint. So I just picked up these acrylic paints. We'll see how this works. I don't really know what's better to use versus watercolor, but we'll see it. We'll try it, see how it goes. So this is black and then this is deep blue. So there's that. And of course, I love this because it's a seven piece brush. Um, oops, and one of them is falling out, but I'm just choosing to use, I just got one long one. Um, Actually, I think I'm gonna end up using two since I have two different colors. That just might make it a little easier. Um, and this tape, blue painter's tape, which I just already had sitting around the house. You'll see what I'm gonna use this for in a few seconds. And then of course I got my red cup. There's no alcohol in it. <laughs> it's just water for the paint brushes. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so what I think I want to do is just do something easy. So I think I want to do like two two colors, one on the top and one on the bottom, and just like a little design in the middle. So I figured that would just be the easiest way to go. So I need the blue tape to kind of make this as even as possible. Um, yes, and as you can see, I'm not, I tend to dress a little cuter, but this is a little dressed down because I'm using paint. And just in case I splatter, I want it to get on something that, you know, I'm okay with it getting messed up. And one of my uh, previous supervisors actually purchased this for me when she went to Disney World with her family. So thank you. Um, I appreciate that. But I've had it for a long time. <laughs> so uh, Mickey and I are going to go on this journey together. As you can see, it's Mickey Mouse. Okay. So, painter's tape. And let me just measure it. Okay. 
So this should be enough. And of course, you might be, you might be able to hide it a little better. I don't know where my rule is because I probably should just be measuring it. But, you know, we'll just, we'll just try and gauge it. So I'm going to say maybe this is about the half point. Hmm. Okay. Let me bring it down a little bit more. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna stick the paint. Oop, this is crooked. I can already see. Hold on. Let's try and make it as straight as possible. Okay. All right. So I paint. I got my paint. It's about half. We'll see. <laughs> Again, the beautiful thing is it's mine and it's not going to anybody. So if I mess it up, it's fine because I'll be the only one uh, that will be seeing it. Okay. So here, here we go. I think what I want to do is start with the blue. So I'm going to pull my blue out here. And again, I don't know. This is my first time doing this. So when I, in the comments, let me know if you have any tips for me. I know, I guess I'm doing this backwards. I should have asked before. But um, again, I'm not a rapper, but I am going to consider this a freestyle painting. Okay? All right. So... I'm gonna wet this first, and like I said, I'm gonna do the blue on top. So, here we go. And I'm just gonna do it easy. Paint across. Oh, Lord. This might be a little bit better to just kind of go down instead of across. Yeah, I think I like that better. And of course you do however you want it. I'm just going to go down now. I think I like that look a little bit better. And I probably, next time I do this, I might use a bigger brush, but this is what we have, so we'll make it work. This is a deep blue. I'm here for it. It almost looks like it could be a purple. Like a darker purple. But you know, blue and purple aren't that far off from each other in terms of the color wheel and family. Okay. mostly covered now I'm just going to go back in and kind of fill in the spots to make it look as even as per as possible Oops. kind of struggling with the edges so Lord knows what they look like <laughs> um, okay Even as possible. Ah, see, okay, I guess I should hold it right. That would make sense. Now I'm looking at this, pretty sure that this is not going to be even in terms of half and half, but that's fine. The goal is I just want two colors. Okay. Ooh, I think I like this. I think I like what I'm seeing. So, I'm going to go 
fold it one last time. Okay, so this is where we are with our blue. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry because then what I wanna do is I'm gonna turn it over and I'll paint it black, um, but I'm gonna have to move the, the, the blue tape. So I'll be back after this dries. Okay, all right, here it is with our black. that nice and pretty so again I'll let this dry um, and I will be back all right everybody so I am back now the black has dried look at it it's so nice right okay so as you can see it's not quite as even um, there was more blue <laughs> I mean the blue section is a little smaller than the black but it's fine I'll make it work so what I'm gonna do is now let's take it off to reveal it and this is it. Isn't this nice? Okay. Alrighty. So now it's time to apply the glitter, which is the last part. Okay. So everything came from the dollar store except for this glitter. Um, I got this from Michaels. So if you saw my video where I did the oh wedding card design, then you would um this is the same glitter that I used. So I just was like, I have some more glitter, so let's just, let's just use this for this. So I'm gonna use it, oop, with a hot glue gun. My handy dandy. So I've been kind of debating on what I wanna do, what type of design I wanna do. So I think I've figured it out. I think I'm just gonna do something in the middle between the two. Well, as much in the middle as possible because it's not completely even, but we'll just go from there. So let's see. Trying to do as much as possible. Ooh. Just gonna go over it a couple of times. Yeah. Just wanna Ooh. Get realizing that I'm more in the the blue and I want to get some down in the black as well when it is hot you can see the steam oh sorry hope I'm not blocking and doing this the best that I can I don't have the most <laughs> steady hand but we're just gonna see how this works out Okay. I'm gonna use this. Oh, this is not really what it's supposed to be for, but I just feel like it's a little clumpy in certain areas. Let's see, look at it, it's clumpy. Get this glue off so I can once it dries, I'll be able to peel the rest off. Okay, so I'm a perfectionist, so I need a little bit more. Well, as much of a perfectionist as I can be. <laughs> See, I contradicted myself. I said this is not the page for perfection, and then I just said I'm a perfectionist. I know I'm a contradiction. Okay. I think I'm running out of my glue stick anyway, so it's clearly time to stop. Ah. Push this down. 
just a little more. All right, and I also want to stop because I don't want it to dry. Okay, now it's time for our glitter fun. Now just put it all on here. Okay, all right, so there you have it. Well, actually, that's not it. <laughs> so now, of course, I'm gonna let this dry, and then once it dries, I will um, dump all the glitter off and come back. So I'm just gonna let this cool down. So I'll be back, all right. Okay, so now i am ready to do the final reveal of the picture so this is the glitter that was on the last time so i am going to just, to just dump it out on here i'm gonna dump it out on the paper so that way i can just take the paper off and use it to put it back in the bottle but for now this is what we'll do so this is the before i hope you all can see it Dump it. Okay. <laughs> so this is it. It's my first try at the canvas. It didn't turn out quite how I thought it would, but it doesn't look bad for my first time. I think I'll do something a little bit different with the uh, glue if I choose to apply the um, glitter on the glue. But I like it for the most part. That's why I started out small, just so I can get an idea. But this is quick and easy and fun. Majority of this came from the dollar store, of course, with the exception of the glitter. So that is it. I hope that you all can try this at home. Uh, with your family and friends um, and just have fun of course so yes of course I'll take a picture of it I have fun trying something new but that is it so I hope you all enjoyed my video of me doing my small canvas painting so of course again this is a part of my 35 for 35 designs please uh, if you're not already, follow me at um, crystal underscore interior designs. So I'll see you the next time. But you